Hello and welcome to the mathematics class. This class will be about exponents for class 8. So let us start with exponents. Suppose I write 2 into 2 into 2. It means that 2 is multiplied to itself 3 times which can be written as 2 to the power 3 which can be written as 2 to the power 3 or I say what will be the value of 3 to the power 5 conversely I ask how can we write 3 to the power 5 it means 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 means 3 is multiplied to itself 5 times so this is what we are going to study this is exponent suppose i say a to the power n means a is multiplied to itself n times you can say this can be written as a into a into a into up to how many times n times now in this expression a to the power n this is known as base a is known as base and n is known as index or sometimes we call it as power or exponent suppose an expression is given to you as a to the power n then n is known as index sometimes, sometimes power, sometimes exponent. You can use any word. Generally we use a to the power n. Means generally we use this word. a to the power n. So power. And what is a? a is base. But remember that a is never equal to 0. You cannot say 0 to the power 2. Hardly matters. It doesn't make any sense. Like that. Now there are few rules and I hope you must have understood the base and the power. Now there are few rules based on this base and power. We will be discussing those rules and then we will be starting with the questions. Now these are the laws. But before I explain you the laws, we will discuss two types of exponents. First is zero exponent. What is zero exponent? Zero exponent you know exponent means power we all know that exponent means power and zero exponent means something to the power zero means if i say a to the power zero it always means one means if any number is having a power zero it is always equal to one you can take any number nine four six 8, 6, 2, 9, point. Let's take point also. Point zero zero nine six eight two eight and so on. And let's this whole power 0. This is a number. This number power 0 will always be equal to 1. Means any number, it can be any type of number. But the thing is, A will never be equal to 0. That has been explained before also a is never equal to 0 means except 0 if there is any number whose power is 0 its value will always be 1 then next point is negative negative exponent what is the meaning of negative exponent again this is exponent and negative means it should contain a minus sign suppose I say a to the power n this is a positive exponent i put a minus sign it becomes a to the power minus n so what is the meaning of this one if it is minus n it will become a one upon a to the power n means if the power is in the numerator numerator means this can be written as a upon one it means this total exponent is in numerator so the power will convert to the positive sign and it will become in the denominator or you can say suppose it is 1 upon 
a to the power minus n this can be written as a to the power n means it was in the denominator we moved it to the numerator part and now the negative power becomes positive that is known as negative exponent so now we will be discussing about these five laws you need to memorize these five laws you need to remember what is the value of a to the power 0 or something to the power 0 and what is the value of a to the power minus n okay the first law is a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power n plus n you can see a and these a's are known as base and this m and n are known as power or index or exponent so when the bases are same bases are same here also a here also a and powers are different and if these two terms are multiplied what happens on the same base the powers are added suppose i say for example i say 3 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 3 it means can be written as 3 to the power 3 plus 2 that is 3 to the power 5 you can justify or verify it by the normal calculation. Similarly, next is a to the power m to the power n. When there is a base, it has a power, then again the whole exponent has a power. What happens? These two powers multiply. For example, let's say, uh, let's say that 8, 8 square. We know that 8 square is 64. We all know that 8 into 8 is 64. Now I can write 8 in terms of 2. 8 is what? 2 into 2 into 2. Or this 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. And then since it was 8 squared, so I made it as square. Now 2 to the 4 to the 8. This will become 2 to the power according to the law. M n. It will become m times n. So 2 to the power 6 and 2 to the power 6 is also 64. So always remember if it is a to the power m and again whole power n then powers are multiplied. Now this is a uh, sorry this is an exponent with two different bases a to the power a b to the power m it is can be written as a to the power m and b to the power n. Let's take an example let's say 6 to the power 2. Now 6 can be written as 2 into 3 whole power 2 now it became a b let this was a b so 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 2 so you know that 6 square is 36 and you know that 4 9 za is also 36 this is 2 square is 4 this 3 square is 9 4 9 is 36 and 6 square is 36 it means if there are two bases with the same power then the bases are written or can be written as separate with the same power a to the power m into b as 6 square can be written as 2 square into 3 square like that means this and this can be written as same next a upon b to the power m so it was a product it is in the a denominator form suppose i say 2 upon 3 to the power 2 it means 2 square upon 3 square so this value will be 4 upon 9 as well as this value will also be 4 upon 9 so there is no question now a to the power m upon a to the power m in this you know you can see that the bases are equal and a to the power n a to the power m upon a to the power n now you can see that bases are equal and this a to the power n is in the denominator just now we have studied about uh, negative exponent that if this goes to the numerator suppose a to the power m and it goes to the numerator into a to the power minus n this will become negative since it was in denominator i convert it i change it to the numerator part so it is minus n now if it is minus n and you know according to the first law that if the bases are same and the powers are different they get added so simply a to the power m plus minus n so that is the value now we will discuss few questions and uh, let's see what now i have taken a question 
थ्री टू द पावर टू एन प्लस फोर माइनस फाइव इंटू थ्री टू द पावर टू टाइम्स ऑफ एन प्लस वन होल अपॉन नाइन टू द पावर एन माइनस टू यू हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई इट और यू कैन से यू हैव द क्वेश्चन कैन बी सिंप्लीफाइड और इवेल्युएट और फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ मीन्स द क्वेश्चन कैन बी रिटर्न इन दीज फॉर्म्स इवेल्युएट दिस एक्सप्रेशन और सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन और फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो वट आर वी गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द लॉज वी नो थ्री टू द पावर टू एन प्लस फोर कैन बी रिटर्न एस थ्री टू द पावर टू एन इन टू थ्री टू द पावर फोर बेसिस आर सेम देन द पावर गेट एडेड सो दैट इज इन दिस फॉर्म एम प्लस एन थ्री टू द पावर एम प्लस एन माइनस फाइव इन टू थ्री टू द पावर नॉ टू इज इन द आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट सो टू एन प्लस टू यू मल्टीप्लाइड विद इन द ब्रैकेट अपॉन नाइन कैन बी रिटर्न एस थ्री स्क्वेर एंड आउटसाइड इज एन माइनस टू दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस थ्री टू द पावर टू एन इन टू थ्री टू द पावर फोर इज थ्री थ्री जो नाइन थ्री जो ट्वेंटी सेवन थ्री जो एटी वन थ्री टू द पावर फोर इज एटी वन माइनस फाइव इन टू थ्री टू द पावर टू एन एंड इन टू थ्री स्क्वेर थ्री स्क्वेर अपॉन थ्री टू द पावर टू एन माइनस टू नाउ एम राइटिंग इट हेयर दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री टू द पावर टू एन इन टू एटी वन माइनस दिस इज नाइन इंटू फाइव इज फोर्टी फाइव इन टू थ्री टू द पावर टू एन अपॉन थ्री टू द पावर टू एन इन टू थ्री टू द पावर माइनस टू थ्री एन माइनस टू मीन्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज लाइक दिस सो इट इज नाउ From the numerator, we can take three to the power two n is here also, three to the power two n is here also, and three to the power two n is here also. So from the numerator, we are taking three to the power two n common, and we are left with eighty one minus forty five upon three to the power two n into three to the power minus two. This and this will cancel. Now, eighty-one minus forty-five is thirty-six, and this will go to the numerator. It will become into three to the power two, or that is nine. Means thirty-six into nine. That is nine six are fifty-four. Five three hundred and twenty-four is the final value this was a question that was based on all the different laws i will take one more question then see now i am taking one more question based on the laws that is 9 to the power n into 3 square into 3 to the power minus n by 2 whole power minus 2 minus 27 to the power n upon 3 to the power 3m into 2 cube is equal to 1.27 find the value of n minus n Now here you can see that all the digits that are given are in the form of three power. It can be three square, three cube, or whatever. So better to convert all them into the powers of three. So let's start. Nine can be written three square and three square three square to the power n can be written as three to the power two n. So I'm directly writing it as three to the power two n into three square. So into three square into now this minus and this minus a to the power m times n they will multiply. So here you will get I'm writing it I'm solving it here so that you it will be clear three to the power minus n upon two into minus two. So minus n minus will multiply. And two and two will cancel. Finally, we get three to the power n. So I'm writing three to the power n. Three to the power n. 
minus 27 is 3 to the power 3. So that is 3 to the power 3n upon here you are getting 3 to the power 3 to the power 3m and 2 cube only can be written as 8 is equal to 1 upon 27 means 1 upon 3 to the power 3 this we have converted everything to powers of 3 except this and this is given so that it will help you now look 3 to the power 2n into 3 to the power n means these will uh, add up, powers will add up. So you will get 3 to the power 2n plus n into 3 to the power 2 minus 3 to the power 3n upon 3 to the power 3m into 8 is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power 3. From this will become 3 to the power 3n. 3 to the power 3n into 3 square minus 3 to the power 3n upon 3 to the power 3m into 8 is equal to 1 upon 3q. Now, this 3 to the power 3n and this 3 to the power 3n can be taken common. So, 3 to the power 3n is common and you are left with 3 square is 9 minus 1 upon 3 to the power 3m into 8 is equal to 1 upon 3 to the power 3. 9 minus 1 is also 8, this is also 8. So this and this means uh, I am writing 3 to the power 3n into 8 upon 3 to the power 3m into 8 is equal to 1 upon 3q this and this will cancel finally this 3m will go to the numerator part it can be written as 3 to the power 3n minus 3m is equal to this can be written as 3 to the power minus 3 so 3 to the power minus 3 from here you can say when the bases are same then powers get equated. So we can say that 3n minus 3m is equal to minus 3. If you divide or you take 3 common, it will be n minus m is equal to minus 1 implies that or this is the value or if you want to make it positive, multiply by the minus m minus n is equal to 1. That is the value. So all these concepts of rational numbers for class 8 have been completed. I hope you will be able to, you would have been able to understand the concept. Please practice, stay home, stay healthy.